Sometimes you do not want to dispatch an event if the current database transaction fails, which was currently not so easy to do, but now it is. Let me show you. So what we can do now here is we can go back and I can implement a new interface should dispatch after commit. So with that, we're telling that we want our event only to be dispatched after our database transaction was closed. So let's run this now again and let's see if something is different. So here we've started our transaction again. We are here at this point where we're going to dispatch our event, but then the next thing here is closing. So this part here is not really happening because this comes now first and now after closing, our event was being really dispatched. So that's exactly what we wanted to do because only after our transaction was closed, we want to dispatch our event now and then. Yeah, listen to it and work on some other tasks for that. Thank you, Matthäus and Taylor for this pull request.